Hi, Catherine Burstein here. I'd like to talk about a new feature in Power Apps that just became available on January 16th. They announced that you can set the amount of records that you can bring back to 2,000 when before it was only 500, which can make a real difference for SharePoint, for instance, because the search function, which is a very usable function, is not Dele is not supported for delegation, so previously it would only search through the first 500 records. Now you can set it to go up to 2000. So how do you do that? Well, you have to go into File, App Settings, Experimental Features, and put in the value. So I put in the value 2000 there. And to test this, I created a list in SharePoint, um, just uploaded it from an Excel spreadsheet so I could get 2,000 records pretty quickly. And there's like nine rows in here that you have a different title. So I'm going to search for the word row in the title and I should see if I can get those back and if it'll search through all 2,000 records. Okay, so here we are in Power Apps. And it's, as you can see, I'm getting a little uh, blue dot, which, you know, says there's a delegation problem. We're all familiar with that. Um, the items here is using the search function, and it's searching through load test, which is the SharePoint list. And there's a variable for what I'm actually searching for the title for. And that variable is set up in the on start of the browse screen. I set it to be an empty string on start so it will search for everything because it's there's an empty string there and then if you want to search for row which I want to do to see if it'll search through all 2000 records I created this action this on selection for this action button set the um, the variable their items text to the search box text okay so let's see if this works i've got it set up already over here just to save time and i'm going to put in row and voila it worked i'm now seeing all it searched through all 2000 records you can see here's record 1981 down here and it happened fast obviously because I already have the data in my memory but we should also check what it would be like on a mobile so let's see how the app behaves on a mobile phone um, I use a program called visor that allows me to see my phone in, uh, in my desktop so that I can capture it on the screen and it allows me to do it wirelessly which is nice because then it's a real test because wireless is how you're going to be using the app when you're out and about in the field okay so I'm just going to run power apps here and there's load test and got it and this is going to take um about 13 seconds to load now in normal situation you might you know actually filter that so that you wouldn't have to load all 2000 records but you might want to and um just thought i'd see how long it would actually take to load that many records with four fields and it does take a little bit of time but there you go and I'm now scrolling through here, which it's it's pretty decent. And you'll see when I go back too fast, then it has to write again. Okay, so let's see what happens when we search the items. Okay, so I'm going to search for the row, word row. And hit my little search button here. And there we go. And that came up really quick because of course that 2000 rows are already loaded and the experience of editing is a little bit slower and make 
that out. But not too bad. And there you see it edited. So um, I think it's acceptable. So give it a try. Thanks for watching.